All right, folks. Well, I had an um, all right sleep. I'm starting to sleep a lot now. You know, don't know whether it's a good thing or a bad thing. I suppose it can be a good thing, can't it? Because when you sleep, you don't know what's going on. You just have a peace. Well, after uh, getting that phone call yesterday, my head's a little bit baffled, you know, because... I should have recorded it, but I've only got one sheet. The phone rings and they answer it. I'm in the conversation and I just don't. So I've got the phone there. Next time the phone goes, it's going to be okay. Wait right there, love. There's just a knock at the door and I'll be stalling it, getting my phone, recording it, saying, just shut that door so it looks as though the door shut. And then um, I'm going to record the phone calls from the hospital, from the doctors, from anywhere. Because the way I do it, not a phone, phone recording app. It's uh, the, the other phone I'm doing it with. Putting this one on loudspeaker and recording the other one. Simple as, isn't it? Easy. So I suppose that's better. So, um, yet yeah, my own doctor telling me it's not looking good. Now, the Royal Hospital, me telling me. Not certain, but they tell me they think it's in the early stages by just a, a look at the scan, getting off that phone call, and it was shocked. Because really, my doctor shouldn't be telling me just through a C, C scan from what I've gathered, because a C, C, C scan is a preliminary, pre, pre, you know what I mean. Pre, it's just, I can't get that word out. Preliminary, preliminary. You, oh. I'm gonna be trying that all day till I get it right now. I want to hear if anyone you try preliminary, preliminary. Okay, yes. Yeah, so one doctor saying one thing and one doctor saying another thing. So a CT scan is a preliminary diagnosis. Not a full factual diagnosis with the results in. The results you want is the ones, once it's under the microscope, it's done and dusted, and they can tell you how far and what stage you're at. What the fuck is that about? One doctor telling me one thing, one telling me another thing. I think it's my own doctor jumping at the gun. Is he saying that to think, well, if anything, better comes out of it, Mark. It's a bonus. Is he trying to get my head around it? Because he knows, he, he knows Dr. Arab, you know, although he's not, he wasn't my doctor until recently. I've seen him on several occasions. He, he's the second doctor I could see when Dr. Gaynor wasn't in. Because, yeah, they class me as a hard patient to handle. Not in the sense, I'm not abusive, I'm not aggressive. I wouldn't have held that doctors down for over 20 years. It's that I'm all up there, I'm on the ball. In other words, they know, my doctor says he knows, I'll have every doctor eating, eat like putty to the hand, you know what I mean, putty to the hand, you know. We've all been manipulative sometimes, and sometimes you can go in a doctor's surgery and sit in that chair, and many a time, I basically told the doctor what to write on the prescription through the manipulation tactics. And you don't know you're doing it. Everybody has done manipulation. Believe you me, we've all used that manipulation thing. And I've used it on many a doctors. But what's the doctor doing? Is he using the manipulation on me? Fucking no. No. Pick me up, because whatever the doc hospital said, I go with the hospital more than the doctors. All right. When you learn to become a doctor, you're training at hospital, all them surroundings, you work in every part of mental health, you do this, you, you know, you're training, you do your times everywhere. It's, but, you know, there's no practice like getting on that shop floor. When you first become a clinician for the first time, that is when the job begins. That is when the training begins, in my opinion. You put what you learn into action you put your train into action that's when it begins so anyway a little bit positive today folks feeling good i'm gonna go to the shop and get some fruit um in about 20 minutes got no fruit in well i've got a little bit in but you know i want fresh stuff so thank you for coming folks
and God bless you. Have a nice day. Have a nice Saturday. Bye-bye.